Okay, so just a quick tutorial to show you how to make an export for your Opacity map. So you might have made a new Opacity channel in your Substance Painter file, and that means that any fill that you have will have this Opacity slot here now. Now, if we're exporting this for UE4 packed, if we go to the list of exports for this, we can see we don't have an Opacity channel. And if we have a look at how this UE4 packed is made, we can see it doesn't have an Opacity channel, but the base color, does have an alpha slot. So before you do anything, you need to make sure that everything you want visible on the base color to be white. So if we go to the opacity here, we can see that I've only whited out the sections of my sheet that have these trims on that I want to be alphaed. Uh, and that's fine for making my opacity map, but because the base color also has an alpha, we need to make sure that everything else has white on it as well. Otherwise your base color alpha will override your material and you won't be able to see anything that you've painted on here. So now my opacity channel is fully painted. We can create our new opacity channel in our export settings. So just make sure that you've got Unreal Engine 4 selected here. Now if we go to the list of exports here, you can see that there is no opacity map. Now base color does have an alpha channel, but if you want your own black and white opacity map to work with various different reasons, uh, we can make one in output templates. So if we go into output templates and select our Unreal 4 packed, which looks like this, we can come up to the top here and make a copy of this. So you can see we've got the copy at the bottom of the list here now. And what we want to do is create a new channel. So we can hit RGB at the top. And in this new channel, we can grab our opacity and drop it into where it says RGB and select gray channel. Next, we want to copy the name of one of the other channels and paste it in there. Get rid of the start of this and type in opacity. Okay, and then at the beginning of this as well, we're going to write uh, dollar sign and project. So with project, what that will do is it will name the texture map as the the save name of your file. So whatever you've saved your Substance Painter file and that will be the name of the start of your textures. Now the good thing about this is, say you have Trim Sheet A uh, and then you want to do a color variation of Trim Sheet A, then you can save a new project, save as, as uh, Trim Sheet B. And then when you export them into the same file, you'll have all your textures neat. Uh, they won't overwrite each other. You don't need to update the name or anything like that. It's the simplest way of doing it. So we can just grab this and copy it onto the other ones, removing the texture set with them as well. Okay, and once we have that, we can come down to the bottom here and we can right click it and rename it. And then we just want to add the extension opacity and project. Now we go to our settings here, we can go into our output template Scroll to the bottom and we can find Opacity Project. Now we go to our list of exports, we can see that we have the name of our file. For me, it's VM Trim A with the Opacity map there. 